excited this morning uh, as I'm actually going to be travelling down to Brighton. Uh, day out in Brighton for Ben Meinl, Ben Meinl, sorry, uh, his, his drumming uh, masterclass. Ben has been a huge influence in my play and I would say in the past nine, ten months uh, since first finding his YouTube channel and the guy just absolutely blew me away. She got her Christmas decorate. You are having a laugh. She got Christmas decorations up. It's November and she's got her Christmas decorations up. <sighs> that is ridiculous. Anyways, so yes, I'm looking to vlog the whole thing. Maybe just get a little bit of footage of Ben. Um, he's meant to be doing some uh, uh, drum playthroughs and stuff of some of the Tosca and Dordier tracks. So. And uh, yeah, just vlog the, the, the trip down there. Not while driving, of course, because that would be very dangerous and illegal. Should make for a good little trip. We'll see how we get on. See you there. Okay, so maybe it's not quite see you there. I'm literally at Asda now, uh, which is only just around the corner from my house. But why the hell do they have Christmas decorations in as well? What's going on? 37 days till Christmas, 37 sleeps till Christmas. Uh, uh, November is ridiculous. Fuel and all that sort of nonsense sorted out. How much? Good to go. Just pulled into Cambridge Services. Uh, really high services, actually. All you can ask for in there McDonald's, KFC, Costa. Some Ramada in across the road. Spot on. But yeah, really, really looking forward to it. Like I say, it's uh, it's going to be a, a great one. He's doing all sorts of, of, of playthroughs and, and the Q and A's as well. I'm quite looking forward to. So about th about three hours left to go. So I'm going to crack crack on. Uh, hopefully, hopefully get there on time. I'm running a little bit behind, but this this woman here thinks all right. Thinks I'm a bit of an idiot. So yeah, I'll put the camera down. Hopefully we get there on time. Doodles! Hey guys, well that was absolutely amazing. Huge, huge thank you to Ben for that. I learned so, so much, uh, you know, all about um, these different polyrhythms and time signatures and all that sort of stuff. Stuff that I love, really, really love to listen to, um, but have never really had a grasp on how to, to put those ideas to the drum kit itself. And so that was an amazing, amazing couple of hours well spent. A weekend well spent, that's for sure. And as luck would have it, um, as soon as I started videoing, iPhone storage was full, so that was just absolutely bloody typical. I ended up with limited footage from um, Ben's actual drum clinic itself and some of the playthroughs and things that he was doing, which were just just amazing. Technology has let us down. Yeah, I had a little walk around the, the town to get something to eat and stuff, and I clear, I cleared a few things on my phone and tried to get. Uh, I wanted to get some footage outside of the studio and things like that, but then this is what I ended up with. Literally cannot see that at all. <laughs> Pitch black. Let's see if we can put the brightness up. Put the brightness up. Your fingers in the way of the screen now. Ah, you can't see it. Oh well, boys and girls, that's Small Pond Studios. There we are. But it's been a fantastic weekend, so I've really, really enjoyed it. Ben, thank you so much. Uh, I'm back off to Newcastle now. I've got a can of Red Bull. Uh, Red Bull? I've got a can of Monster, sorry. Uh, to try and keep me awake. 
should I fall asleep. Uh, so another six hours back. Uh, and then we, what's happening tomorrow, I've got a gig with uh, Heaven or Hell in the early, so this will be the Sunday now, so the early afternoon. And then straight after that, I'm going to see Enter Shikari at Newcastle. So I'm really, really, still really, really excited. Uh, this was the one of the, the main things that I was looking forward to for this weekend, but then the fun, the fun continues. Situation update. Gig with Heaven or Hell tonight, absolutely amazing. Just finished and got back to the studio, got changed. As you can see, find the Shikari tonight, appropriately dressed. Only to realise though, that I may have forgot the tickets. Not good, not good at all. James is on his way home, James who I'm going with tonight, is on his way uh, back to, to my house to go pick up the tickets. The journey is to my house is another half an hour. So I very much doubt that we're going to get to see Asteroid Boys. They were one of the main bands I was wanting to see, and it was the reason that we rushed through the Heaven or Hell set in, in the way that we did, <laughs> trying to go on early. Um, but yeah, Asteroid Boys, what time is it? Asteroid Boys... Oh. Started three minutes ago. Definitely not seeing them. <sighs> but still, Lua than Atlantis uh, are going to be great. Hopefully we make it in time to see them, and of course we'll definitely make it in time to see Anna Shikari. The main band, the main reason that we paid all that money for the tickets, which I then left in the house like an absolute idiot. But anyways, yeah, so should be should be a good one. I'm rambling on now. Uh, I bought that. I've got the GoPro at the minute because the iPhone, once again, a massive technical difficulties uh, ran out while I was trying to film some of the some of the having a hell show. So apologies if you can't hear me at the moment, but I'm doing do my best. Sit and edit the audio at home. Try and be a little bit clever. But anyways. Still a great night to be had, and we've got the after show party actually, the Enter Shikari after show party with uh, Asteroid Boys, they're going to be hosting that, doing a little DJ set, so all is not lost, uh, I don't think I managed to get any footage of that, I don't think we can take the GoPro in, so maybe it's not, but anyways, still a great night to be had, <sighs> yeah, don't know what to say really, I think we'll just, should we cut it here, yeah? yeah, probably, toodles! Here he is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't see it. Too dark. Stop there, it. there he is. Hey. Brought the tickets. Oh, he's locked us out. Ow! Ow! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know. well, there's no need to swear about it, James. I'm going to have to edit that out now. I'm going to have to cut it out. Bloody believe you. That's a bit better. Of course we'll get out. Oh. A bit faster. Yes, Christ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll walk there quicker than this. Do you want me to edit that erratic driving out of the out of the vlog? I wouldn't mind. You fuck you. Mate, keep going. No. Why? You want to get? Go on, keep going. Where am I walking? Stop swearing, man. Where am I going? What? Eh? What? Eh? That, you're on camera there. Yeah, hello. <laughs> but I, don't you just look stupid walking around with a phone like this though? Mm -hmm. I do like. You know what? If you like a bit of a knob. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Unbelievable. I'd like right. It is a bit high. Which side are you going for? Cheers. Wow, Enter Shikari, what a show. Genuinely, genuinely, absolutely amazing that. Um, I was a little bit dubious at first because I'd seen, uh, they'd announced on social media that they were going to do a, a surround sound uh, kind of setup. And I wasn't too sure at first what that would entail. I, I can't even begin to describe. I was so bemused the whole set because you would be stood there listening. Enter Shikari, as you will know quite a, or if you don't know, you need to check them out electronically evolved band and so all of these samples and triggers that you were hearing were going right the way around the arena and you would hear things triggered behind you and to the side and then and you know making its way down to the front of the stage genuinely genuinely incredible there are a few more bands i think could maybe could do that and you know that it just takes that your show to a, a whole new level um arena bands i'm talking about of course i don't think you'd be able to manage that in your local pub but yeah, it would be great to see a few more bands do that because that's the first time I've, I've I've seen that done, or heard that done, rather, and it was absolutely amazing. Lower Than Atlantis, we got in just after they, their set had started. They were absolutely incredible as well. Eddie Thrower, wow, that guy is just an amazing player. And that drum kit, that I think he, he plays a Toma. Um, well, he plays a Toma. I'm not sure what model it is that he's playing, but... Anyway, sounded absolutely amazing. Zildjian cymbals as well, which cut through really, really nicely, and I'm not normally a fan of Zildjian, but anyways. But yeah, I'm off to the after show party with Astroy Boys, so yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and yeah, nothing else to say. Doodles!